Hey, well, we actually just heard from Senator Louise Lucas out of Portsmouth here a couple of minutes ago. There was a massive media scrum to get uh, to try to talk to her and see what she's saying about all of this. She said she still agrees that the governor needs to resign, echoing what well, the House and Senate have said over the last few days. She also talked about Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax's uh, allegations of sexual assault against him, saying that they need to take those seriously as well. And as you mentioned, we have not heard from the governor since Saturday when he said he did not plan to resign as governor. And that's the last time. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax heard from him too, according to a source here inside the Capitol. Now, the Lieutenant Governor, he's currently presiding over the Senate through these doors right here. He arrived here at the Capitol just after 9 o'clock this morning, but did not answer any questions. The Lieutenant Governor facing his own controversy, as I mentioned, an accusation of sexual assault from 2004. Last night, he told reporters he's innocent, that the sexual encounter was consensual. We've learned today his accuser has hired the law firm that represented Christine Blasey Ford. You may remember her as the woman who accused Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault last year. Sources say Fairfax is trying to just focus on his duties here with the General Assembly right now, which is currently working to pass a budget, but he is worried about his reputation, his children, and how he can prove his innocence. Again, as for Governor Northam, we have not heard from him since Saturday when he said he did not plan to resign as governor over the racist photo that was discovered inside his EVMS yearbook. Uh, according to sources here, we, we know that he had a meeting with his senior staff members on Sunday, and according to sources here, Lieutenant Governor Fairfax was not at that meeting. He did not not even find out about it until after the fact. And still, there are multiple calls for the governor to resign again, just from Senator Louise Lucas here inside the Capitol Rotunda a couple of minutes ago. We're, of course, going to stay on this story and keep you updated with any new information we get both on air and online. We are live inside the Capitol Rotunda in Richmond. I'm Anthony Sabella, News 3.